Bar, Numbers chapter 23. And Bil'am said to Balak, Build seven slaughter places for me here, and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me here. And Balak did as Bil'am had spoken, and Balak and Bil'am offered a bull and a ram on each slaughter place. Bil'am then said to Balak, Stand by your ascending offering and let me go on. It might be that Yah does come to meet me, and whatever he shows me I shall declare to you. And he went to a bare height. And Elohim came to Bilam and said to him, I have prepared the seven slaughter places, and I have offered on each slaughter place a bull and a ram. And Yah put a word in the mouth of Bilam and said, Return to Balak, and this is what you say. And he returned to him and saw him standing by his ascending offering, he and all the heads of Moab. And he took up his proverb and said, Balak, the sovereign of Moab, has brought me from Aram, from the mountains of the east. Come, curse Jacob for me, and come, rage at Yisrael. How do I curse whom El has not cursed? And how do I rage at whom El has not raged? For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I observe him. Look, a people dwelling alone, not reckoning itself among the nations. Who shall count the dust of Jacob, and the number of one-fourth of Yisrael? Let me die the death of the upright, and let my end be like his. And Balak said to Bilam, What have you done to me? I took you to curse my enemies, and look, you have kept on blessing. And he answered and said, Should I not take heed to speak what Yah has put in my mouth? And Balak said to him, Please, come with me to another place from where you see them. You only see the extremity, but not all of them. Curse them for me from there. And he took them to the field of Sophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven slaughter places, and offered a bull and a ram on each slaughter place. And he said to Balak, Stand here by your ascending offering while I meet over there. And Yah came to Bilam and put a word in his mouth, and said, Go back to Balak and say this. So he went to him and saw him standing by his ascending offering, and the heads of Moab with him. And Balak asked him, What did Yah say? And he took up his proverb and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear. Listen to me, son of Sippor. El is not a man to lie, nor a son of man to repent. Has he said, and would he not do it, or spoken, and would not confirm it? See, I have received to bless, and he has blessed, and I do not reverse it. He has not looked upon wickedness in Jacob, nor has he seen trouble in Yisrael. Yah, his Elohim, is with him, and the shout of a sovereign is in him. El who brought them out of Mitzrayim is for them like the horns of a wild ox, for there is no sorcery against Jacob, nor is there any divination against Yisrael. Now it is said to Jacob and to Yisrael, What has El done? Look, a people rises like a lioness, and lifts itself up like a lion. It lies not down until it devours the prey and drinks the blood of the slain. And Balak said to Bilam, Do not curse them at all, nor bless them at all. And Bilam answered and said to Balak, Have I not spoken to you, saying, All that Yah speaks, that I do? And Balak said to Bilam, Please come, let me take you to another place. It might be right in the eyes of Elohim that you curse them for me from there. And Balak took Bilam to the top of Peor, that overlooks the wasteland. And Bilam said to Balak, Build seven slaughter places for me here, and prepare seven bulls and seven rams for me here. And Balak did as Bilam had said, and offered a bull and a ram on each slaughter place.